And this is John from War Jeepney, and we are playing a 100 rice point Bushido game, and we are playing the three idols over there. And I'll be using my Ito. For my Ito side, I have three Shisais. I have Sakura, Ayako, and Q. And I have the Jade Mamba Guard Takeji, the Samurai Itsunagi, and a Temple Bushi over there. I am up against Prefecture, and Prefecture will be using the Grey Pilgrim, the two Imperial Princesses, Mika, Matsu, and Tenji. So we'll now proceed to our deployment. So here's how we deployed. Erwin has placed Mika over there, the sister with the bow, watching over the road open area here, with the close range sister beside her. We have uh, Matsu over there, Tenchi and the Great Pilgrim over at this side. Over at my side, I have Itsunagi by the road. He's beside Takeji. It's the three Shisais over here and over here at this side is the Temple Bushi. And we now begin with turn one. So this is what happens in turn one. Models mostly move forward. They got my Temple Bushi there. He has Tenchi and the Grey Pilgrim there. I have my Shisais over here at the middle with Takeji there at in front of Ayako. Itsunagi moves up the road and right now he is moving Matsu up using Raijin's Rage and trying to get a call lightning attack on my two figures over here. So Erwin reconsiders and decides to target Itsunagi instead with the call lightning and will Raijin's Rage over to Ayako. So for Itsunagi, he will need an 8. 8 to hit. So he rolls a 7 and misses on Itsunagi. So we are now at the end of turn 1 and my last move is I move uh, my Samurai Itsunagi over to the idol. Right now, Tenchi has 2 poison 2 markers. And we'll start with Turn so two. I win initiative for the second turn and for my first activation I will nominate the Temple Bushi to make a charge against the poisoned Tenchi. So charge 10. I'll pass through the water so I have a penalty. Make sure I don't get within one inch. So Tenchi has reached so he'll be striking first. I spent two key to give myself lightning reflexes. So I'll strike first. Anyway, I have vengeance against that guy. I'm going all like this. Erwin has two attack and one defense. So I will roll. I have made an eight. A brutal nine. And this defense of two. So I'm seven in. Uh, he has armor two. I have charge, so uh, the ch it just removes my two uh, strength to the charge. And I roll an eight, so I still deal enough damage to uh, kill it right now. So it is dead. So for Erwin's turn, he's going to use Yanjing and her brutal bow to try to snipe uh, Takeji. Uh, he needs a five, I'm a cover, six, seven, but he has brutal one. So he makes a four, five, six, brutal one, seven. So he deals zero damage plus 2d6 damage, which is a nine, bow plus one, ten. I am armor two, back to eight. So he deals zero damage to Takeji. So for my turn, I will use Ayako to try to use hypnotic gaze on Matsu. So I have uh, willpower plus one due to Sakura being within 3, but Matsu has uh, resistance 1, so it's just dice versus dice. I have 3 dice versus 2 dice. I make a 7 versus a 5, so Matsu gets a uh, stun marker and minus 1 activation token. EG is moving. So EG will move there by the door near the idol so for my turn I will activate Ayako and try to hypnotic gaze Yiji I have three dice plus one 
So I make a five, six, seven versus four. So Yiji is now stunned and exhausted. So Erwin is moving Mika uh, to base the idol. So I'm activating Q and moving around five inches will get me about here. We have measured it and it will not allow me to base the Buddha. Erwin spends a token to reload Yanjing. So I'll activate Kiyu and engage Yiji with the melee attack. So I'll go there and also base the idol. So we'll have a melee exchange. So Erwin spends two key to increase his dice pool to two. And I will spend my key to increase my dice pool to four. But I will roll this and declare combo attack minus one dice. And Erwin has spent two on defense. Let's see what happens. And sidestep defense. I have a five. He has a six. So my attack fails and he he's able to do a sidestep defense. So the Grave Pil Pilgrim will just uh, use a range attack called Lightning on my Temple Bushi. Three dice hitting on fours. And that is an eight. So four damage plus two D6. Hello. So that is a just straight up four damage to my Temple Bushi. But Temple Bushi still lives. I will use Takeji to move forward five inches to engage Yiji. And I will put him here. So Yiji is stunned and exhausted. I'm going all on attack. With one dice, he's going defense. Let's see what happens. Not a very good roll. I have five versus his two. So I deal two damage. Plus five. And I believe I have a Nodachi. So that brings me to zero modifier. So just uh, three damage to uh, Yiji. But I have a poison... Uh, I have Blood of Orochi, so she gets a Poison 2 marker. So Erwin moves Matsu right behind Takeji. And he is going to hit Ayako with a Call Lightning attack. Raijin's raging over to Sakura over there. This is going to be painful. You will need a 5 to hit Ayako on 2 dice. 2 dice because uh, she is stunned right now. Okay, need a 5. And that is a hit for a 1 point of damage plus 2d6 damage. And that is just 1 point of damage over to Ayako. This is for Sakura, hitting on a 5. And thus 1 damage plus another point of damage. So to review, Raijin's Rage, Call Lightning, 1 damage to Ayako. Two damage to Sakura, and it's now my turn. And I will activate Itsunagi and engage Mika, and we will have a melee exchange. So he spends his key, buys an additional dice, spending up to four. I buy an additional dice and use it to faint, and I am allotting my dice this way, one on defense, four on attack. And Irwin, you have three on defense, one on attack. So let's roll. I have a 5, you have a defense of Six, seven. 7. So I will use my Proest melee. And I still make a 1. So I miss. And he misses as well. So nothing happens in this exchange. Oh wait, I have faint. Reroll the 6, please. With the faint attack. I ask him to reroll the 6. He makes now a 2, so he's now still at 7. Oh, that puts him at 7. 7 versus my stick. My 6 is still nothing. So, Grey Pilgrim spends the last activation and turns the eye. I will activate again Itsunagi and attempt to try to get rid of Mika over there. Mika is down to 2 dice. I still have my 4 dice. I'll spend 2 key to faint. I'm going to go all aggressive and Erwin is going all on defense. Let's see what happens. I have an 8. 
He has double ones. He will re-roll one dice with Pro Esmili. Go ahead. That is a six. I will use my feint and ask you to re-roll that six. Oh wait, what's that? Hototai's coin. So, or sorry, that's not Pro West, that's Hototai's coin. So he rolls a six and a two, total of seven. Versus my eight, so I get one in, but I'm brutal, so I get two in. Wait, I forgot I had faint. So re-roll the six with the faint. Oh, so the, that's now a three. I have five in. Five in. Plus nine, plus ten, so six in. Total of six in. And I believe that is exactly Mika's life, so she is eliminated. So all my activations left. Takeji will make another attack. So Takeji, I will spend my three key to increase my dice all the way to four attack dice. He's down to one dice because he is stunned and exhausted. I rolled an eight versus a six. So I have two in. Two plus uh, six and uh, plus the weapon will just give me a bonus of zero actually. So I deal two damage and she already has three damage so she is killed. So Sakura will move over here and use Psychic Venom. I'll spend two key and try to hit her with the Psychic Venom. It is my two dice versus uh, your two dice. You have resistance one, mm -hmm. but I have a sister here, mm -hmm. so that just breaks even. So it's simply dice versus dice. I have a five. Five. But I am the activating model, so she gets one poison two marker. So end of turn two, he earns one point for that idol over there. However, Matsu gets uh, two damage from that poison marker. And we will now start with turn three. We will roll for initiative. I made the four, he made the two, so turn goes to me. So first activation of turn three, Kitsunagi will hit Matsu with a surprise attack over at the back over there. And we will now perform a melee exchange. So correction over there, uh, Matsu is never surprised because she has six cents. So I'll just spend my two key for faint. I'll go on attack. He's going all on defense and I'll make my roll. I have a six, seven, eight. He has a four. I won't roll anymore for my uh, faint. So I'm doing a total of four damage. Four damage plus uh, six, zero, so total of four damage, and does, does that kill Matsu? Yes. Matsu is killed with four damage. Actually, I had Brutal over there, so that's five damage. <laughs> Additional damage, but, you know, enough to kill. So it's now Erwin's turn, and what is he going to do? He has the, uh, the bow girl left, and Grey Pilgrim there, who I am staying away from. But he still has this idol turned over to his side while these ones are still at neutral. Erwin will use uh, Yanjing with the Brutal Bow to hit Takeji over there. Four to hit on three dice. And he makes a five. So does one damage. Uh, brutal. So does two damage. Plus the roll of uh, ten plus one for the bow. Minus two, eight. Because I have two armor. So just a total of one damage, I believe. Oh, brutal two damage to my guy. As payback, I will activate Takeji, walk over, and try to strike that bow girl. So I move over there. So for this melee exchange, Erwin buys extra dice with her key. And I have bought brutal with Takeji. I will go two attack, one defense. One attack, three on defense. Okay, let's see what happens. Takeji has poison four. I roll a seven for my attack. His defense is a six, I believe. So I deal one damage. Plus another one damage. So a total of two damage. And poison four to Yanjing. 
He made an attack of 4. I have a defense of 2, so he does 2 damage to me instead. Okay, uh, in return. So 2 damage plus 2d6. So that is a 5. Uh, I have armor 2, so down to 3. Uh, minus 3, so deals no damage to me. Minus 2 damage, minus 2 damage is no damage. Grey Pilgrim is attacking my Temple Bushi, base to base. Attack versus 3 defense. My 3 defense, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8 tied, but he's the activating model, so he deals uh, 0 damage to me. And. 0 damage to me. Rolls of fa 4. A plus 1, I think, for the the weapon of the Grey Pilgrim, but Temple Bushi survives down to 1. Kiyu will simply spend a activation and turn the idol towards my side. And Erwin will spend his last activation to continue the fight and try to finish the fight. Of course, I'll go all defense again. He's spending his key. Really trying to get rid, and I need a mighty roll again, please. Six, seven, and eight again. Yes, uh, six, seven, eight, but he's winning again, so deals zero damage to me. Plus modifier, which is a six plus one, seven, so again, deals zero damage to my temple bushi. So I will use Sakura, use the road, and get into base contact with the idol and try to hit. Yanjing with her Psychic Venom attack. So we are simply rolling two dice versus two dice. I don't think she has resistance, does she? No? no. So it's simple. Opposed. Key feet. I have a six. What did you make? Five. Five, so uh, she still gets a Poison 2 token. One Poison 2 token. So it's just all my activations now. I will spend uh, Sakura to turn this my way. I will move. Uh, I will just use Ayako and spend two to focus to increase her key. Uh, Itsunagi will probably need to help over there. So Itsunagi will. I will turn him. I'll move key around here. Get Itsunagi and run all the way inside there and that is about it oh i still have takeji so for my last activation i'll attack her again see if i can uh, actually i don't have sushi the has poison four so i will simply pass and she dies at the end of the turn so score is one one fifth turn he is down to Grey Pilgrim. Roll for initiative. I make a 5. He makes a 5. Let's re-roll. I make a 1. He makes a 6. So Grey Pilgrim will strike. So Erwin activates the Grey Pilgrim. Moves around. In order to get closer to that idol over there at the center. His chance, only chance to uh, go for a win there. I'm going all on defense. Going all on attack. And I rolled a 7. And he messes up his roll, so I defend successfully. This Temple Bushi, this Ten Rise Temple Bushi, has definitely earned his points for this game. So I'm figuring that Itsunagi will need help against the Great Pilgrim. I will activate Ayako, move up over here, and channel about all her key, six key over to Itsunagi who will now have a total of 8 key. So Great Pilgrim will... Uh, Erwin is spending key to increase her attack because he, he really wants to kill this guy he's doing his job. I'll go all on defense again. I make my roll. I make a 7 and he makes a 4. Way to go Temple Bushi! Erwin is going to use his second chance event and reroll all his dice. I will keep my dice. I like it at 7. Reroll everything. And he scores an 8. So he deals 1 damage now. Roll 2d6 please. 
and that is enough to do that one damage and kill my Temple Bushi. Oh, second chance worked for him. Temple Bushi is killed. She is now exhausted and no key to spend, so I will use Itsunagi and move over. It's just a simple walk will do, and we will have a melee exchange. I will go all on like this and do a combo attack. He does two on attack because he is striking first. So it's against my defense. So what is it gonna be? <laughs> he rolls a four. I defend with a seven. I have an attack of six, seven. Of course, I will re-roll with this. And I make an eight with that. So eight plus two D6. So I deal a total of how much is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven damage to the gray pilgrim. She is cut in half. And I win the game over here. I've got two idols, only the fifth turn, and that's the game. Okay, so that was the end of the game. Uh, a bit of a decisive win over to the Ito, but to give Erwin fairness, this is actually our second game. Uh, my first game, I actually ran up the road here, and two of his call lightnings in the bow just decimated my guys. So this time, I learned to make use of cover and properly have the bodyguard in front to give him a difficult time. This time, my Itsunagi with the range defense was harder to hit because his range defense too and he was hiding behind that idol, giving him a total of range defense 4. Uh, I was a bit lucky here with my Temple Bushi, uh, being able to take out that first guy and be, being able to hold his ground against what have otherwise been a uh, terrible melee monster, the Great Pilgrim. So uh, this has been a great learning day and I hope you enjoyed our battle report.